Welcome to Old San Juan in Puerto Rico. The historic walled city has deep roots, history, and the most vibrant culture. It's the oldest city in the United States and one of my new favorite places. My family and I finished a cruise in the port and we knew we had to stay an extra day to explore and see a little of the city that dates back to the 16th century. It's a remarkable place and the old city is very walkable. There are fountains, art, and pieces of the city's heritage around every corner. The city has a number of free museums and galleries, and that include this art exhibit that was on at the Puerto Rico Tourism Company's Heritage Building along Calle Paseo de la Princesa. Behind the gallery, there's also a surprise with one of the city's original prisons. If you're brave enough to sneak down this narrow alley, that is, between the two buildings. I couldn't find a lot of information in this space, but the building in front was a former prison built in 1837, so these prison cells are at least that old, if not older. Beside the prison, you'll walk along the city's original walls, the fortifications that kept San Juan safe from pirates hundreds of years ago. The city dates wow. back to 1510, when Juan Ponce de Leon arrived, and the original fort was completed in 1783. You may even recognize the city from Pirates of the Caribbean as locations were used in the films. So we've literally just arrived in Puerto Rico like an hour ago, and we dropped our bags at the hotel, which is in old San Juan, which is gorgeous. And now we're taking a walk along the fort wall, which is just astonishing. It is one of the most beautiful areas. This is amazing. I am, I was sad before I got here that we weren't going to spend very long in San Juan, unfortunately, because of flights, but I'm especially sad now. This is, this is tremendous. I just can't get over these amazing views. It was the first time I've been anywhere with such huge fortified walls. We walked back into the city through the original San Juan gate that served the city in one form or another for over 300 years. Stepping through the city streets are lush and green in many places, with a mix of Spanish architecture and trees and flowers everywhere. It's so beautiful and lively, and then you walk a block or two and come to another bustling public square, church, or busy street. There's also an incredible array of art everywhere, like the Gato pieces by George Zeno in Plaza Felisa Rincon de Gautier, in front of the Cathedral and Hotel El Convento. We stopped for lunch at this hidden away bar and restaurant, and I tried some of their amazing local beer. What am I, in Germany? This is fantastic. I also tried a local dish, carne frita. It was delicious, and I love the vibe in this restaurant. Along Calle de Cristo, we stopped at stores and picked up some things to take home. I loved the spicy Cary Bay with all their sauces and spices. And across the way was El Galpon, a stunning hat shop that had some great stuff. Also, I have to say, sorry for my Spanish pronunciation, it is not up to snuff, but anyway. From there, we walked north to the water and near the largest fort, Castillo San Felipe del Moro, that defended the city and where Spanish soldiers were positioned in the 16th century. Right next door to the fort is the main cemetery of the city, Cemeterio Santa Maria Magdalena del Pazis, packed with somber but beautiful statues and headstones. You can even walk down into the cemetery, but it's only open for a set number of hours, usually from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., so check ahead to be sure that it'll be open when you're there. Right by the ocean with a number of pale white stones, it's a striking view. Um, the chicken wants the cat food. We didn't have a lot of time, so we didn't explore the fort nearby, but we walked around the grounds and it really is beautiful here. If you have the time, it's definitely worth the tour and the entrance fee is not expensive. Wow. I would at least recommend a walk around the grounds for sure. For supper, we went to La Casita near a number of awesome food trucks and across from the port. As we had supper as well, the Disney dream set sail, leaving us behind very sadly. That was the ship we came into port on. But we had a great meal and drinks before we called it a day. 
The next morning I got up extra early so I could walk the city before it got busy. It was quiet and a bright sunny day and not many people were out yet. I love these narrow cobblestone streets and the way the sun shines off the buildings, all the bright colors. Every so often you'll even see a pigeon or maybe even a chicken because I did see a few of those around parts of the city. From La Terraza de San Juan where we stayed, it's a short walk to Plaza de Armas where there's a fantastic little place to get coffee. It's called Punchy's Cafe. It was a perfect spot to sit and enjoy the morning sun. There are also a lot of pigeons there, but we'll see more of those in a little bit because there's a surprise. <laughs> Then I walked to this park space, Bastion de las Palmas de San Jose, and it looks out over the city walls. It's a tremendous view you really need to see. The city has a lot of bars and places to grab a drink if that's what you want to find, but I have to say that for me, even if I'd had the time, I'd much rather be in a spot like this seeing these views and getting a feel for the city. But there are some great bars, so I will say, if I get to go back, I have to try a few of those. The bustling area, Calle de Cristo, has a lot of stores, restaurants, and bars, so you can come after noon to enjoy those. But if you visit in the morning, everything is really quiet and picturesque if you want to take some photos. You'll find a lot of squares like this. There are quite a few around the city, but this was one of my favorites. I love the art and the vibe here. His name is Mona Lisa. So cute. It is watching this pigeon. I don't know if it's going to eat it. <laughs> what a cute cat. I also went back to the cathedral, which is really special. It's where Ponce de is actually entombed. And just keep in mind that you can't take photos inside, but if you stand on the outside, you can usually get a few shots inside because they keep the doors open on the outside. Just to give you a sense of the narrow sidewalks in some places, which, you know, it's fine, but they're, they can be uneven for sure. But still, look how beautiful this is. I'm still getting in shape to walk and talk on camera. <laughs> Doesn't always work out. But anyway, for brunch, we went to Choco Bar Cortez. It is an amazing restaurant. I bet you haven't seen a place like this. The restaurant celebrates the history of Cortez chocolate, and the menu incorporates chocolate into a lot of the dishes, including pancakes, chocolate infused ketchup, which I have to say was really delicious. And of course they have hot chocolate. The surprise though, is that the hot chocolate has a piece of cheddar in it. So it's kind of like a soft bit of salty finish when you're done with your hot chocolate. It, it's really interesting. And of course you can buy Cortez chocolate bars here too. We had to get to the airport for a flight around noon. So we really just explored more of the streets while we had time and took in some of the amazing architecture. And I had to take my family back to the cafe and the square because it's such a beautiful spot. Honestly, I could just walk around and enjoy the vibe in old San Juan as much as I could go shopping or eat and everything else. We saved a little room while we we're at Punchy's to try a Mallorca. It's a Puerto Rican breakfast sandwich and it really was delicious. It was great with coffee, highly recommended. And then we went and explored the Poets Passage. It's a gallery with lots of Puerto Rican art inspired by San Juan. You can even buy miniature versions of the city's iconic colorful doors to take home. In the gallery, we just wandered and looked at the art as well, but you can also buy originals or prints to take home. I have to say, I really love the way they capture the city's lights, colors, textures. These are really beautiful pieces of art. I really recommend to stop to check them out, especially if you want to take home a little piece of Puerto Rico. <laughs> 
And then we went to a very special park. Park de las Palamos is unique because the city's pigeons congregate here to be fed. <laughs> oh, it's on my phone. It's on my phone. <laughs> This is the craziest experience I've ever had with birds. I can easily say it's two dollars. There's some food in my hat. I, I don't think they found it yet. Yeah, but I, I think he's. I don't know if he notices the food. Are you my friend? Hi. And you go to the other side. Hi. Oh, bye. Oh, I've got a new friend. Hi. Yes, for $2, you can buy a bag of food, and let me tell you, they love it. You're not allowed to feed pigeons anywhere else in the city, so they all come here for an easy meal, but they're remarkably gentle. They just stand anywhere they can and devour the food. <laughs> you can take one, if you can. There's a remarkable amount of chaos here, but it is a lot of fun if you don't mind birds. There's also a kids cafe in the park with a play space at the back. And beside the park is one of the smallest cathedrals I think that I've ever seen anywhere. It's really beautiful and astonishing. And around the corner, there's also a street cafe where you can sit out and just enjoy the vibe of old San Juan. I found this really amazing building as well that was nearby that had all these shops and restaurants and there are gems like this oh, wow, almost yeah. everywhere you go in old san juan it is a beautiful place to explore and just discover new things and then it was sadly time to head home well that's it for our san juan adventure our whole cruise adventure we've had just the best trip it's been over a week and i mean san juan is Phenomenal. It was the best way to finish off this trip. So we we will leave if we have to. <laughs> we certainly don't want to leave. That's that's for sure the thing I'd say that we would have stayed a week if we could have. And maybe we're gonna come back quite soon if we can. But uh, it was a fantastic adventure. I can't think of a better way to finish off this trip than staying here because it it complete bookend to. New York on one side, San Juan here. It's, it's an awesome way to mix it up and experience so much. Like this is just the most beautiful place. And there's something for everyone. I mean, there's lots of family stuff, but there's tons of bars, tons of restaurants, lots to eat, lots to do. It's, it's a great place. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about our trip, if there's anything you want to, you know, you were inspired by, you'd like to know more about. Happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.